Now, Catherine, you are always trying to make the world a better place, aren't you? Oh, Joe, if there's anything I care about, it's my own career. But if there are two things I care about, then the other thing is small, independent retailers. Because you're here as one of our consumer enforcers. So this week you've been investigating a cause close to our hearts, haven't you? Yes, there's a small independent retailer. You know, they're really struggling, those small retailers, and the last thing they need is hassle from the big boys. So I've come up against Waitrose. Oh no, I really like Waitrose. Me too. Because what they're very good at is they contribute to the well-being of the communities where it operates. That's what they say. But they're the good guys. The olives are divine. True, but you're going to have to be a big boy and face this. Here's what I discovered. There's a big one of them in Berkhamsted. OK. That's not a real place. And right on their doorstep is Woods Garden Centre. It's a local independent business who are doing really well until Waitrose supercharged their plants game. And then suddenly, they were both chasing the Berkhamsted Budley a buck. That's not an economic concept, is it? Yes. So I plan to get Woods back on the map. Well, let's roll the tape. We are going to have Waitrose sell fewer plants by burning it down. Um, I think that's quite a bad idea. I'll disable the sprinklers, no? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. We start telling people by chopping a flower down it's murder, so when you buy these little plants, you're buying a corpse. Um, goes against everything we've sort of ever done in our lives, really, which is to say flowers are wonderful and beautiful. But it would shut down Waitrose plant section. It also shut us down. Also shut us down. Oh. And yours as well. OK. Mm. So if I'm hearing you right, you don't like this idea because it's too good? No. It Make Woods hype. The coolest place to be, a celebrity hotspot. Host a party, invite everyone. And when they're in here, sipping champagne, admiring your stock, we can get them to sign the petition. Sounds like a good idea to me. Yep. Definitely. Yeah. Like that. OK. We've decided an idea. This is going to be great. Finally some sense. But I feel like we should still burn down Waitrose. I'm excited to see what A-listers you got down. Elton John? Uh, Celine Dion? No. She loves a trowel. It was such a lit crowd, they might have been there, but uh, that was part of my plan. I wanted to give the Garden Centre a much needed rebrand, but first I had to check out the competition and also I really wanted some olives. Watch this. I've been posting on social media all day to let people know about the huge celebrity party that we're having. Wish you were here. I've got one day to make Woods hype, so I've sent my street team out to fill the party with hunks. Shop local, we've got an event on tonight. Sarah, Colin, Lucky, may I present to you the new direction for your brand. Sexy rebrand equals sexy party guests. Got wood. Wood. The hottest garden centre in Hertfordshire. Come to Woods. Love at last. Woods has the hottest selection of XL thick hoes to choose from. Get it. Do it. Grow it. Poet Woods, come on down. Wow, right? What do you think? Different. Different, yeah. 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 And I like the fact that you promoted our tools. Thank you. But the thing is, we don't want to send a message that, you know, potatoes or Brussels sprouts are... Like balls. Great. So now that you've agreed, I will uh, re-edit the proper one, you know, including all the full frontal nudity, and I'll have that biked to you immediately. Full frontal? Yeah. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be great. Well, I think they took that surprisingly well. Who needs a supermarket bakery when you can get your hands on some hot buns right in the garden center? <laughs> My mission was complete, which is good, because I am allergic to any bouquet under 200 pounds. Just 
the smell of poor person flowers. Uh, yeah. It was time to launch the big event. With the big A-listers? Kind of. Okay, let's watch them. Sign this petition and let's save woods and keep it strong for another 40 years. Thank you. I'd done everything perfectly, and I can honestly say I'm the best thing to happen to Woods since they started selling scented candles. This event is so positive, it really looks like it could be something good. Fingers crossed it's going to work. My final task was to hand in the petition to Waitrose, thus saving the future of Woods. But they said I had to post it to the head office in Bracknell. Can't help but notice there were no big A-listers there, Catherine. They might have been there in the crowd. Yeah, it was just you though, wasn't it? So to start. Well, we got in touch with Waitrose and they said to us, we are very sorry the garden centre feels this way as we've tried to be supportive to the community. They do offer a specialist service and have a far larger range of gardening products than we do. We have significantly reduced our range of plants following conversations with the owners. Thanks, Wendy Waitrose. Have any friends been in touch? Maybe. I don't answer the phone. Well, Colin actually got in touch with us soon after and said that sales have gone up since your visit and you delivered that petition to Waitrose. So that's good, isn't it? What's the next step? Well, just keep shopping local. Well done, Catherine. Consumer Enforcer Catherine Ryan, everyone.